you mind if I ask what your GPA was? So my GPA when I applied, I think was a 3.87. Three point eight seven, and that mostly coming from my lap, my third year. Obviously, first year is much more difficult to get like a four point oh GPA because um, there's a lot of adjustment that takes place when you go from high school to undergraduate. So it's sort of like an upward curve you, when you, once you get the hang of it, and once you have more opportunities to take classes that um, you find yourself really good at, um, then you, you can sort of transform your GPA. So which, um, which PA schools did you end up applying to? So I did apply to both the McMaster and the University of Toronto programs. And the way the timing worked out my year, I actually received my acceptance to the University of Toronto before the interview was at McMaster. So once I got that acceptance, I didn't, I canceled my interview with McMaster because I really wanted to go to University of Toronto. And what made you decide U of T over Mac? So what was really important to me was to be able to live at home for the program. And um, given that I was, I live in Waterloo and it's not really commutable to Hamilton, um, I really valued the University of Toronto um, having the distance education set up. So that's sort of why I wanted to do that. Okay, and um, just to go back, uh, how was it filling out the supplemental application? So it was definitely, it seemed like a huge undertaking, you know, you really have to think about yourself and what you bring to the table. And I really found that using resources at my institution was really useful for me. So we had, I guess what you would call um, like a career center with um, like an application advisor, I guess, who I would work with. Um, they would really just help me tweak my supplemental application, my personal statements, and um, make them the best that they could be. I think I just sort of did like a free hand. I looked at all the questions, answered them as I would just off the top of my head, and then I spent a long, a long few months really editing them and adjusting them. So it wasn't necessarily something you did within a week? Oh no, I spent probably about six months on them. Like I, I, they, I think they were exactly the same as the ones the year before, and I had even started using the ones from the year before, um, before the new one even came out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how did you choose which references to use for some aspects of the application? So the way I chose my reference was I wanted someone who knew the most about my clinical knowledge and abilities. So I chose the um, physician who I worked with um, in ophthalmology as my reference because she really had the best understanding of my capabilities and my knowledge. And what was your process like preparing for the MMI? Um, so I used my resources again from my institution. They did have MMI they had like a curriculum almost that you could complete online and watch some videos about the types of stations that were included in MMI and how it works. And then from there, I participated in a couple mock MMIs held by my institution as well. And then I also sat down and did a one-on-one -on -one answering some MMI type questions and getting direct feedback from my counselor. Okay, and was this all free from the institution? It was all free. It was really nice, yeah. So it is available to Waterloo mm -hmm. students? Yeah, it's called the Career Center, and they have some great resources there. So we'll definitely link mm -hmm. to that. Yeah.